The Australian cricket team, led by Kim Hughes, spent a fortnight in Sri Lanka playing against Bandula Varnapura and his men in three limited over internationals and one four-day unofficial test match. The Sri Lanka cricketers earned the plaudits of the Australians when they matched the strength of the visitors in every game, losing the first one-day international by only one run, winning the second convincingly and losing the third by the narrow margin of seven runs. We bring you now highlights of the third and deciding match of the three one-day internationals played on the picturesque Singhali Sports Club ground on May 5th. Bandula Varnapura won the toss and sent the Australians into bat. Martin Kent, the right-hander, and Graham Wood, the left-hander, opened the batting for Australia. Ravi Ratnayaka and Kirti Gunaratna opened the attack for Sri Lanka. <laughs> Alan Border, who top scored with 63, came in at the fall of the first wicket at 31. Kent and Border kept a run rate of five runs per over and put on 94 runs for the second wicket in 18 overs. <laughs> Anwar Ranasinghe bowls to Kent. He turns him on the onside for two runs. Ranasinghe to Kent again, taken on the full, it's another run to Kent. Lalit Kaluperuma bowls, the ball beats wicketkeeper Devapriya and Anra Ranasinghe, it's four byes. The hundred came up in 103 minutes and took 20.3 overs for the loss of only one wicket. The Australian run rate of five runs per over continued. Kalupiruma bowls to Alan Border, his clean bowl. Australia score at lunch, 152 for three in 30 overs. <laughs> Kalupiruma opened the bowling after lunch. He bowls to Kim Hughes, one run. With the score at 159, Hughes tried a lofted on drive and was well caught by Dulip Mendis at long on. The Australian score, 168 for four. <laughs> Trevor Chappell and Dirk Wellam then put on 47 runs in double quick time. Ravi Ratnayaka bowls to Trevor Chappell, he's out clean ball. The Australian innings ended at 242 for six, or 45 overs, made in 201 minutes, leaving Sri Lanka with a run rate of 5.4 runs per over. Bandula Varnapur and Nirmal Hetiarachi opened for Sri Lanka. Hogg and Lawson were the opening bowlers.
Varnapura attempts to cut Hogg and is caught by Kent, a big blow for Sri Lanka. Hemantha Devapriya was yoked by Lawson for two and the first ten overs had realised only 30 runs. Roy Dias, Sri Lanka's batting star, joined Nirmal Hetiarachi and the pair put on 35 runs, Hetiarachi being bowled by Bright with the score 47 for three. Together with Dulip Mendis, Roy Dias took the score to 76 when Mendis was bowled Bright for eight. 76 for four, Sri Lanka in 19 overs, only four runs per over at this stage. Ranjan Madugala joined Roy Dias and the pair brought the score up to 102 when Roy Dias, who had played a master innings of 44 in 72 minutes, was bowled by Lawson. 102 for 5 in 24 overs and things look grim for Sri Lanka. Anwar Ranasinghe joined Ranjan Madugala and the fireworks began at this stage. Anwar Ranasinghe clubbed Hogg for two boundaries through mid wicket. From 102 for 5 in 24 overs, the score speeded up to 181 for 5 and then to 198 for 5 in 40 overs. Sri Lanka had caught up with the Australian run rate. Anwar Ranasinghe pulls the ball to mid wicket. Kent takes the catch, but it's over the line. A glorious six. <laughs> Anwar Ranasinghe was out for a hectic 61 in 73 minutes and only 65 balls with eight fours and a six. Ranjan Madugala followed, caught by Wellamore Fogg for a billion 55. Sri Lanka, so near and yet so far, 217 for 7 in 42 overs, as against Australia's 221 for 5 in the same number of overs. <laughs> Sri Lanka ended their innings at 236 for 9 of 45 overs, only 7 runs short of the Australian total of 242 for 6. From 102 for 5 in 24 overs, Anwar Ranasinghe, Ranjan Madugala and Lalit Kaluperuma had brought Sri Lanka to within seven runs of victory. Probably one of the greatest fight backs in Sri Lankan cricket history to change what looked like being a complete rout into a heart-stopping finish. Another great day for Sri Lanka cricket it had been. We now bring you parts of an interview with the two skippers, Kim Hughes and Bandula Varnapura. Ideas of your views. Yes, yeah, I, I think the umpires will, will benefit from umpiring in, in lots of test cricket. Uh, I feel that the most important thing is, is consistency and uh, I feel that umpiring standards around the world uh, uh, leave a lot to be desired. I think in England they're very, very consistent. I expect that and these were some impressions the, of Bandula Varnapura, the, uh, the Sri Lanka skipper. Too, I think the most, the, all the seniors contributed good, quite a lot in uh, giving a lot of confidence to the youngsters who came in. And uh, I should uh, mention uh, that Dulip Mendes, my deputy, uh, did a wonderful job in, uh, in giving me all the advice and keeping the, the youngsters and the other seniors going while I was uh, more involved in, in bowling changes and field placing sort of things. So uh, whatever I credit, uh, the, the credit that I get by doing well on this tour, I think the same amount should uh, go to Dulip Mendes as well. Another Australian tour was over, but Sri Lanka cricket had come of age and under Bandula Varnapura's astute leadership had brought credit and fame to Sri Lanka. <laughs>